Hi Leo. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It's always a blessing to have you guys back here. We're going to get into your next 48 hours, okay? So, if you're here for your very first time, I welcome you. And if you are returning back to your channel, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and to shine beautiful like a diamond. All right, so Leo, we're going to get into a prayer. Leo the Lion. We're going to tap into your energy and we're going to see what angels want you to know for the next 48 hours, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the prayers in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so... Hi, right, so Leah, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one, okay? So with that being said, it may resonate with you and then again it may not. Um, please take what does resonate with you, Leo, and leave the absolute rest. The rules are always reversed and so just keep that in mind. Now, cross watchers, you are more than welcome to be a part of these reads. The same thing applies for you guys as well, okay? Please do not force the reads. It's not meant to be forced. Now, if you guys are interested in having a personal with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I provided for you guys, and that will strictly be in the description of this video to schedule an appointment for personal. Also, you guys, my deck is also available um, for purchase. It's called the Awakening 1111. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, all you have to do is check in the description of the video and you'll see exactly how to do so, okay? All right, let's see what your affirmation is. Let's pull an affirmation through for you guys at this moment. What is the affirmation here, please? What is the affirmation here, please, for Leo, Leo the Lion? What is the affirmation for Leo, Leo the Lion? What is the affirmation for Leo the Lion? All right, so your affirmation is big, happy changes. Big, happy changes. For some of you guys, um... You may be dealing with a situation here where you're definitely either trying to find an escape from this. Um, Leo, I feel like this could be something that you have been really praying for, wanting, hoping. You know, you've been really asking Source to give you some kind of a light or maybe some kind of a decision or just to help you with a, to make a choice for yourself. Um, I feel like these big happy changes is needed more than ever. You've been waiting for this for a very long time. Um, you might have been definitely been dealing with some kind of a setback or some kind of a roadblock, or you've just been feeling very stuck or very burdened here. I feel like this big happy change is finally coming to light. I feel like you're releasing something. And finally, Leo, because you are in the process of releasing something that might have been holding back these big happy changes from coming towards you i feel like finally finally things are being set free all right let's get you guys an angel message all right angels answers to spirit guys what is the message here from the angels for leo leo the lion for the next 48 hours all right so leo you have pulled in the angel number 28 here okay now the angel number 28 is i am a leader angels are saying that in all efforts to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. Angel number 28. Thank you for that, angels. Let's get you some messages here. What is it that I need to share at this moment? What is the message for Leo? Leo the Lion at this moment. What is the very important message that I need to share with Leo? Leo the Lion for the next 48 hours. 
Okay. All right, so Leo, um, agents are saying that boundaries is needed, okay? Now, I don't know why this boundary is coming through, but I really do feel, though, that whatever is coming or whatever is needed right now as far as big, happy changes are concerned, for some of you guys, you're really, you have really been setting yourself free and setting the boundaries that might have been needed in the situation, okay? I really feel like there was something that you were dealing with that felt very toxic um, or definitely attacked into toxicity. It was really pulling your life source to the core, to the point of no return. Um, this person might have either wanted you to be indulging into a threesome situation here. I feel like you might have regretted. Maybe you might have didn't, done it. Um, it feels like Things that you just weren't comfortable with. I feel like you were doing a lot of things that you felt like you shouldn't have been doing. Um, just to have this person feeling happy. Just to have, even though you might not have been happy with the decisions that you were making with this person, you were still doing it anyway. You was like going along with whatever. Um, and I do feel like it really took its toll here. This divine energy is very strong. I'm also hearing I wish I could take it all back. So... Whatever these regrets are, I feel like for some of you guys, you just wish that you could take this back or this is them. Um, something is in the reverse here. And I'm seeing longing. This is in the reverse. Longing. Another time. Um, being away from you has taught me a lot. But this is in the reverse. I feel like if you guys are in separation, okay, which I really feel like there's... There's some kind of a separation here. You guys are definitely not clicking, okay? I really feel like someone is just not longing anymore. Someone is not yearning anymore. Someone feels like they're not needing anymore like they once did, okay? Some of you guys is just like, skip to the loo, honey, because I'm done hoodlooing over you. I'm not doing this. Cleansing and second chances so this is the second chance energy coming through um maybe this person wants a second chance with you or this is you um but cleansing is needed and to be honest with you it's the energy that needs to be cleansed okay i've definitely seen this return i forgave you for ghosting me but i hate you hate you for ghosting me but I love you either damn way second chances but this person knows that you still love them this person knows that you're still thinking of them so this person is coming back this person is definitely returning to your life uh, I really see a lot of pain here so this person might have caused great pain hurt I'm not going to lose you. Your sex is the best. So this person may maybe this person makes really good. Um, oh, right here is hurting me. Um, this person may have made really good love to you, touching places that you really like, or this is them. Touching new places that you liked, or maybe you're touching them in places that they like, or whatever. But someone doesn't want to lose this good, you know, sex to nobody else. All right. All right. The old lion, please. All right. So there's definitely chemistry here. Sexual chemistry. But someone is definitely conflicted here. There's a conflicted energy that is coming through. It's caused by abandonment. So somebody feels really bad because they felt abandoned. Um, somebody's still looking out in yonder here, kind of hoping and waiting. I need time to, to offer you the true commitment that you need. So this person is saying that they really needed some time. So that way that they could offer you the true commitment that you need. However, they still have chemistry for you. Okay. 
Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing this person really wants to come clean. This person wants to talk. They want to put a smile on your face is what I'm hearing. Um, listen, I'm hearing set boundaries, okay? Um, I'm hot and cold at times. All right, so this person is saying, Leo, um, that day can be hot and cold at times, okay? They could be day and night at times. They could be hard to deal with at times. Um, do you still want to be with me, though? Even though we share a twin flame connection, do you still want to be with me? A lot of questions here. Loyalty is also one of them. Foundation is also one of them because that's in the reverse. I feel like you are maybe thinking at this point, though, Leo, that, you know, there's no foundation that is coming through. This person might have messed up the the ability to have the foundations uh, set in stone. All right, tell me what's going on, with Leo. Please clarify these messages for Leo at this time. Please clarify these messages for Leo, Leo, the lion at this time. Please clarify these messages for Leo. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guys, please protect me from anything that may come through this read. Any bad intentions, any heal, any worries, any hate, any stress, all right, that may come through to harm myself and Leo. We bind it up and we send it back to sender 10 times 10. In the name of God, the Son, and Holy Spirit, so it is, so it is, so it is done. All right, so Leo, we have... Oh, it was hurting, and then all of a sudden started itching. All right, so that's weird, right? Let me get some sage. All right, so hold on, you guys. All right, so it's going to cleanse a little bit. Just cleanse the area just a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, so we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the King of Swords energy here coming through with the Four of Cups. Well, the Four of Cups did eventually show. The Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and the King of Cups and the King of Swords energy, right? So this King of Swords right here is, you know, it, it, this is very stubborn energy. Um, this person, you know, they sit on their throne. They want to be very dominant. This person could be a little mind game type of a person. Um, I feel like though that they may want to hold, they may want to offer you something. Um, definitely a second chance. Um, some kind of a reconciliation for sure. However, because you have the four of cups here and because you have the four of pentacles in the reverse, I feel like there may have been some kind of a stronghold with you and this person. Leo, I feel like, you know, you're setting yourself free from this hole, this person that holds on to you with their own determination here. Um, I feel like you're not happy with this type of a stronghold. I feel like this person holds on to the way that they feel. They are sitting on a, on, on a throne here. And they wear their crown and they fight if they have to. And they want to be the winner at all costs. However, I feel like you're just done with it. You're sick of it. You don't want to be in a situation where you feel like you can't say what you say, want to say or feel how you want to feel. You feel like you have to always hold a lot of things in. And I feel like because you've been doing that, Leo, it's been really taking its toll, okay? Um, let me clarify what I'm feeling here. I just have the need, the urge to pull you a card here to clarify this. All right, clarify this, please. All right, that's all I need. 
All right, so this one came through within the next few months. Okay, so within the next few months, you're going to see everything clearer than a crystal ball. All right, um, Fifi, go sit down. Let me lay it on, Papa. My puppy, he has to take a shower in the morning, and he has to take a, a I gave him a little pill, so it will calm him down, or else they will not be able to give him a shower. And right now, he's very kind of wobbly, sleepy, sleepy. And he's fighting the sleep, so he's going back and forth in my office. All right, so within the next few months, I feel like things are going to become clear. I feel like whatever clarity that you're looking for, you're going to find this out. I feel like whatever has been hidden, you're going to find that out. I feel like peace is coming through. All right, um, remain positive. Yeah, look at that. All right, so this was in the reverse when I looked at it. So even though you have to remain positive about what this change is, um, and I really feel like this change are so like massive and huge right now for you, this change that is needed. Um, I feel like though, for some of you really not positive because you're not really believing in yourself that you're able to conquer all things. And you can, Leo, because you, um, you're relying and you have the ability to conquer whatever comes to face you, to harm you. You're like Daniel in the lion's den and you can do it. I'm telling you that you can do it. You can do it. You have the power. You have the ability, Leo, to make things great. Okay. And this is where I see you ascending into a new a chapter in your life. Some of you, you kind of getting this opportunity to start a business. For some of you, this could be a job. You're growing on this job finally. Um, you know, you're you know, others are seeing your word and your work, okay, and what you're bringing into a situation. Um, it's just in general with family and friends and the way they gravitate to you. For some of you, felt like you were the black sheep of the family. Well, you that's no longer. You're just doing you. You're doing great things. Um, I'm seeing some of you planning on buying a car or a home or something. And I see you doing this. You're manifesting this simply because you're not allowing this person to be dominant in your life anymore. Okay. They're not taking charge. They're not holding on to you anymore. You're releasing these strongholds and you're doing you. Okay. All right. So this is going to be your read, my darlings. I hope that it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate, Leo, to give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, you guys... I'm, I'm asking you to go over and subscribe to my home decor channel and to subscribe to my cooking channel. I am going to be posting the link on my community wall, so go over and check it out. Um, please subscribe, you guys, and say hello. I'm not, I won't bite. Just say hello. I really want you guys to be more connected to me outside of doing the tarot, okay? We just want to unwind and just have fun and all that stuff. Um, doing home decor or whatever that's kind of motivating somebody to just get up and go whenever I'm feeling down you guys this is what I do I go in my kitchen and I cook and I clean my house all day every day it really helps me that is my like my little um healing right so just come over and join me you guys and say hello what's up on this journey also okay um, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Same with I leave in your initials also down below. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you, Leo. And with that being said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.